congratulations on the film. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Um, and why is South by Southwest such a great place to premiere this This is just the place with the best audiences in the world. People are just the most excited. We did the math today, and we've been here four out of the last five years. So to us, it feels a little bit like just every year we get to come here and show the coolest people what, what we've been working on for the last year. So that feels nice. It feels like very like comfortable. So I think great. also like the city's not too big, so you can kind of get everyone in the same vibe in like the same area. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and would you say like this movie kind of feels topical all of a sudden? I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's well, I was gonna like one of the amazing things that we did in developing the script was Seth and Evan got a chance to work on it as writers with Lisa Goldberg, and uh, and we were able to make sort of make the script be exactly what you're talking about, and then with Kay coming into it and being the sort of the director, like it. It's, we feel like so fortunate that like exactly how we thought the movie would play uh, and be perceived is what is happening. And like the moment and what's kind of happening in terms of society, like obviously you don't know what how that's gonna be when you're making a movie, but like our intention was to be like, let's make a movie that has not been seen before uh, from a point of view that people don't typically get, so yeah. Well since you weren't here my voice, do you mind just kind of explaining like this is a unique movie from a female perspective? Yeah. yeah, I'll let Evan do it, yes. Yeah, uh, uh, this movie is kind of tackling young sexuality from the female perspective in a purely positive way, and our general message is about how young girls should be in charge of their own destinies and not like a bunch of old white jerks. <laughs> and, 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 and it's crazy that this has timed out at a time where like it's a societal thing, and I guess we're just kind of in it and we didn't even know it at the time. Like. We thought it was cutting edge when we were going to make the movie kind of focus on this stuff. And it turns out it's 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 just so. what's happening in the world right now. And it's awesome to be a part of it. It does feel like, you know, it does feel like males. It's funny saying this as males, but we've had movies like whether it's American Pie or Fast Times or frankly, even Seth and Evans movie Super Bad, like they sort of gave the sort of male point of view at different times of what it is to be sexual and figure out what, what you're doing. and. It's nice to feel like we got a chance to like watch the female version of that story, uh, like watch it like that be relevant, and so and then being able to be the guys who made that movie is awesome. So, yeah, the guys who made that movie with a bunch of women, with a bunch of women, mostly K. Cannon, mostly K. Cannon is the reason that we're here, guys. So, yeah. Okay, so with Mo, tell me about the butt chugging. Who came up with that? How did that the, the the butt chucking has nothing to do with women and only has men involved in it and uh, uh, that was was that John and Hayden? I think it was Hayden. John Hayden. John and Hayden yeah Hayden. Erwin and Flossberg like they they are producers on the movie and uh, and did uh, pass as writers as well and, 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 and so. Seth and I have known these guys for a very long time we've always wanted to work together and this was the first time we actually got to and uh, and they just have some of the best jokes in the business. Yeah, and, and when you're when you're making an R-rated comedy, you're constantly looking for like what are the set piece or set pieces that are gonna like make an audience be like, oh, that's the reason to come see the movie, and that is that. I think that's that set piece. There's one other one that's also like that, but like that one in particular, people watching it with audiences, people really really and, respond. And, so. and I'll admit, I tried to cut that like three times. <laughs> I was like, guys, this is too crazy. You guys have gone too far. It's just too nuts, and I am. I am and was wrong. Well, I think it's a testament to the fact that it's John Cena who is doing the butt chugging. In a vacuum, any man butt chugging, yeah, who's to say when that? When it was pitched, if you guys had said John Cena, maybe I would have been like, yeah, totally of course, that's a no-brainer. No, exactly. <laughs> when you get the biggest, most famous professional wrestler, actor, person to stick a tube up his, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, to stick a tube up his ass, that's the guy. That's the reason, so. Yeah, I think like it's what what's hard about uh, what what's hard about comedy uh, today is like trying to find out what is that new sort of fresh, interesting group of people to come together. Um, we've been fortunate enough to make a few of those movies in the last few years, and what we were excited by was that combination of Leslie and John and Ike, and figuring out how them 
uh, figuring out that they were like the right new version of a comedy sort of trio to come in. And we ended up finding three amazing uh, girls in Catherine and Gideon and Geraldine to kind of play our, our young girls. And they also killed it. And that, I think, is sort of the secret sauce of the movies. You kind of come in thinking like, oh, we, everyone knows a little about Leslie and John and Ike. And then you get to see these new girls be incredibly funny and amazing and own their sexuality and all the things that are sort of like the message of the moment that I think we were trying to do with the movie. So, cool. Thank you guys. All Thanks right. so much.